What's going on world? Your boy Kuya P. I got my man Eldon Webster style. There he goes. We are here at uh, Pikesville, Maryland to cover Farpoint Con for the first time. So stay tuned for all the videos. We're going to have, hopefully have some interviews and some other things chimed up. So here we go. Strange, S T R A N G E. There you go, Patrick. Yes, ma'am. All right, we are here, Eldon. Wait, what? Farpoint Con, what? and look who's here, Carmen Shamwell. I'm recording you guys. Welcome to NRW. <laughs> my girl Carmen. Got my man Josh. Oh, how you doing, my friend? I knew I was gonna see you. Hey, what's going on? But you know, I keep it on low. What's up? Strange at Farpoint Con in Pikesville, Maryland at the Doubletree. This is their new location. Yeah, what's up? Let's set it off. Let's, let's get, go. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> what is up? I was going to surprise you. Because well, uh, you saw my post. Saw yeah, I did. Post, and you didn't tell me. Okay. I, I, I was like, no, what is this name? Why does this name look like Patrick Strange from behind? Well, he has done the Doubletree thing and got the trip. This is my first time doing yeah. Farpoint, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, my boy Eldon. You know, we were going to just kind of right. peep it, check it out. Like, what, what platform are you live on? I'm um, a meta. Well, it's, I'm just recording clips at the moment. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All yeah. Right. Well, so how are you all? We're good. We're good. Cool. Our, um, the hotel we're staying in had blackout curtains, so we woke up at 10.05 a.m. Oh, sorry. Man, you are shooting metal glass. You're going to lose the people funding the government to give you what you need. Chromacon in the building. I got my girl, Brittany. I'm recording you right now. What's up, girl? Shout out Chromacon real quick. <laughs> Come to Chromacon. Chromacon's happening March 1st through 3rd with the kickoff event on Leap Year. Definitely come out and hang out. It's all about artists and creatives and just taking over Baltimore City. Let's go. I'm going to have to hit up uh, my, my pal Brittany right here, as you see. Uh, so that way we can get some coverage. I know my man Webster's not going to be there. Oh, I got to show love to you. I'll be there. I would love to have you there. It's so of good course. to see you. What's up, baby? How you been? I'm good. good. Boom, stop. <laughs> Testing these out. So, so I'm going to post all these. Yeah. Right? Like, I ain't even going to hold nothing. I just look at you. <laughs> right? <laughs> What's good, girl? <laughs> What's good? I'm good. Yo, I just noticed a shirt. <laughs> ah, I need that. Where did you get that? That's some random thing on Etsy. That is fucking... <laughs> girl. Hey, hold on. Let me take... Hey, Meta, take a picture. How you doing, man? Oh, of course, I'm ready. I'm ready. Tomorrow, bang, bang. <laughs> hey! Hey, can you move this real quick? I'm gonna put this in here. Did you want to put this, put yours in your bag too? Oh, I'll put mine in there. Okay. Thank 
turn it on loose. Hey, good, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm trying to find my my boy real quick. Good to see you, man. How you doing? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Good, good. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got caught. Oh, oh, on the side over there. Yeah. Did you get caught by the BO? Yes. That caught me too. I was like, I'm gonna keep moving. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been to Shore Leave? No, I haven't. Something to maybe we look into as well. Looking at some of those guests. Yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Yo, yo. What's going on, man? Come on, dude. How you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing. Hey, promote Fry. What's going on, Worldly Support Creepy? In front of me is my man, Harry Carpenter. Fry Reads Book Festival. Tell me about it, brother. Tell you about it. Man, you were there. It was fantastic. Well, we got a new year. But I'm going to tell you. We got a, <laughs> so it's been two years since your wonderful appearance. We have super awesome celebrities. Right now, we're just announcing uh, a 90s iconic film by John Carpenter. You can't tell when you get on there. You're going to find out next week. We're going to have a whole bunch of stuff. We got uh, the fairy godmother from uh, Disney's Descendants. I know you're hyped about that. Uh, we have a couple of New York Times bestselling authors. We're going to have an improv show, doing a horror show, something that I've never seen before, and I really want to sit in on. It's just going to be a party. It's going to be an absolute fun time. Two shows. We have May 25th, and then we have coming around for our freight reach proper. We're going to have uh, September 28th and 29th, all in Columbia and Glen Burnie. There you go. Links on the screen. Go check it out. Support the homie, here, here, Harry Carpenter. Fight Reeves. All right. There you go. What's up, bro? Like, all right, Tony Stark. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. 
you think this will be an all-day affair? Yeah, I don't think. I don't know how long. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Whenever you're ready, to be honest. Is this an animal cartoon? 
true, truly, and when they stopped laughing, they said, no, it's not an icon, that, 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 that animal cartoon. I said, well, saber tooth, Wolverine. They're mutants, as if I should know. They're mutants. <laughs> and I went, what the hell is a mutant? He <laughs> said, you've never read any of the comic? No. And it's an almost they can read their mind, they're like, who sent this guy in here? He did. None of us, the guys, and all the voices are Canadian, but knew anything about that. So I said, okay, so I said, well, so they said, Clint Eastwood, um, Ward Bond was a really weird reference. Steve McQueen, which I loved after I got to know him, because Steve McQueen is one of my favorite actors. He's a short guy and very quiet, keeps to himself, keeps everything inside like Wolverine. And, uh, and so that, while I was sitting there, I kept thinking, what am I going to do? Because I have to yell at this He's got to sound tough. So I thought of Wolfman Jack. Do you remember Wolfman Jack from yeah. the 60s, 70s, that uh, midnight special? Wolfman Jack, baby! Coming at you in the midnight special. So I, I put, as it turns out, a bit more than I wanted to, Wolf, a bat in Wolverine voice with Clint Eastwood mix. And the first time I had to read, and keep in mind they're all there, they've flown in from LA and New York, and Larry used to know all those people. And I said, okay, they said, okay, read it. And there's the first line I had to read, and I almost laughed in the middle of it, because I couldn't believe it, and I had read it, but I went, I said, okay, that's what they want me to say. All right, you egg-sucking piece of gutter trash. <laughs> you always get like pushing around people shorter than you. Well, I'm shorter. Try pushing me. <laughs> and they just went, Woo! Holy shit. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. We're in trouble now. Give him more lines, give him more lines. So I read for the next 15 minutes or something. You know, and great lines. I, I know what you're thinking, punk. Question is, hence the Clint Eastwood. And it's actually the scene from one of his movies. And I didn't accuse him of like, well, you're, you're taking these lines. And I'm like, yeah, well, we can do that. <laughs> it's a lot. I know what you're thinking, punk. Question is, can I get Wolverine before he turns me into shish kebab with those claws? Well, bub, see this how these claws are adamantium, the strongest metal known, and can slice through vanadium steel like a hot knife through butter, buddy. You gotta ask yourself, do I feel lucky? <laughs> Woo! They just went, you can go now. I was like, thank you very much. And they called me the next, the next day and they said, would you like to be in the, our Wolverine? I said, I, I don't know, I'll have to check my calendar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the rest is histoire, as I say, and the best five years of my life was doing that guy. And then when they took him away, it was like, well, you can't take him away now. But it was weird after five years going in the studio and being this, this guy. They said, cut my left arm off, or even you know, my brother. Anyway, that's the way it happened. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, like you said, you, you don't really know the comics. How uh, how did that influence, like, when you were working through the scripts and stuff? I mean, you, you deal with stuff like, oh, who's the saber tooth guy? Did you find yourself kind of questioning the insanity of it to a degree uh, while you were working through the scripts? No, I went, I went and I bought, like, a few comics, you know, the like X-Men and stuff, the ones that they suggested to get. And read it and stuff, and it was, you know, it was mostly just what I felt about him and looking at him. You know, and knew that he was that, as tough as he was. Yeah. So yeah. once you kind of once you got into it, yeah, I grew up in a really tough town, a you know, fishing town, in Port uh, Dover, Lake Erie, the Prosperity, and possibly other things. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Kuya P. My man Webster Style here at the Doubletree Hilton for Farpoint 2024. Uh, as you saw earlier, we uh, came in and we saw quite a bit. Uh, you probably saw a lot of B-roll footage. We're doing more so a vlog on this one uh, because this was uh, our first time coming. We didn't know what to expect. And um, I would say uh, I had a good time. It, it, I wouldn't say it's a three-day show. No. It is a three-day show for all those people. And, and I think it's cool for those people that are, uh, I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a super nerd, but I don't know if this is my speed, if you will. Yeah. But I like that it exists for those that, you know, this is their speed. What would, what, what would you say about this? Because uh, I don't want to talk bad about the show because it's, no, cool no, no, no. it's, it's, it's a cool it's show. It's a cool show. It's a small show. It's quaint. It's small. You can really get one-on-one -on -one with a lot of vendors. Uh, you're really one-on-one -on -one with a lot of the, well, not all, not, but all of the guests as well. You're right there in their face. It, if you're looking for something a lot more intimate, personal conversations, personal connections, this is the sort of 
uh, convention you're going to go to. Uh, Far Point has been around for decades now. Yes. So there's a very big reason as to why the fan base is continuing to make sure that this convention goes on every single year. Well said. Well said. All the people, the staff are really cool. Awesome staff. Uh, the coordination of everything, everything where they have it, the layout is good. Um, as you probably saw on the video already, I sat through uh, the Cal Dodd uh, Q&A. Yeah. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, yeah, just, just some good moments here. Very intimate, though. Very low-key, which I have to say, having done the big shows, yeah. I prefer yeah, in, yeah, in a lot of respects. Definitely. So, uh, yeah, good times. Uh Probably will check it out again next year, you know, come through. Um, but again, yeah, for, for like a slice of life of what our thoughts were, um, probably not a three day. Did I hit it by accident? Yes. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, I accidentally <laughs> hit it. Um, did, did we get too much? Did we lose too much? No, no, we got it. Okay. We got it. My fingers were wandering. But uh, anyway, uh, as we were saying, uh, good times. Good times. Yeah, definitely good times. Good times. Uh, so stay tuned to the NR Dub. Uh, well, if you're on, you're watching this right now. You saw my footage. <laughs> um, but my boy right here, Webster Style, as you know, Sartorial and Geek Podcast. Uh, why don't you promote what you did record oh, on yeah, your yeah. side? I got an interview with a couple uh, authors. Got a little bit of clip of the uh, panel with Tony Newsom. Answered some really good questions. Tony Newsom, Instant Mariner, Lower Decks. Actually, it's not instant anymore. They got promoted in the last episode I watched. But... Um, Lieutenant Junior Gray or something like that. Anyway, uh, so really cool uh, individual authors, really diverse uh, slices of fantasy that you're going to see on website.com real soon. There you go. Shout out to the hub, uh, to the homie. Uh, always a pleasure rocking it with this cat. Yeah. We covered Exotica before. We're giving you Far Point 2024 right now. And a whole we got more. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> we got some stuff planned up, man. Always good times with this brother. Man, yes. always a pleasure, bro. Definitely. Same here. Your boy QP, Webster Style, and our dub. Out. Peace. I'm trying to do a peace sign. We out. <laughs>